Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on converting metric units from bigger units to smaller units. Now we use units in real life, for example for measurement we have uh, centimetres and metres and kilometres for larger distances. If we talk about our weight, we could talk about our weight in grams or kilograms etc. And often we need to convert between these different units. So you need to remember these different conversions here. That if you have one kilogram, so that's a unit of mass, sometimes incorrectly described as a unit for weight, and one kilogram is a thousand grams. If we had one kilometer in distance, then that would be a thousand meters. So the word kilo, shortened to K, means a thousand, as you can see for both kilograms and kilometers. Then we also have one liter, is equal to a thousand millilitres. Litre is a unit of capacity, that is how much space something takes up. You could use that for milk, for example, I might say I have two litres of milk. Then we've also got centimetres to millimetres, so one centimetre is ten millimetres. And then we've also got one metre is a hundred centimetres. Now for these questions here, we're going from a bigger unit, like kilograms, to a smaller unit, like grams. Now notice to go from kilograms to grams, can you see that number is getting a thousand times bigger? So going from kilograms to grams, we would have to times by a thousand because the number is getting bigger. So for A, if we've got 12 kilograms, to get from kilograms to grams, we have to times by a thousand. So if we times this by a thousand, then 12 times a thousand is 12,000 grams. What about B? We've got 3.6 meters, and we want to convert it to centimeters. Now, can you see to get from meters to centimeters, can you see that number is getting a hundred times bigger? So therefore, we need to times 3.6 by a hundred, now remember, when we times by 100, it moves the decimal point two places to the right. So it's going to move once, and then we've run out of digits, we're just going to put a zero here after this decimal point, and then that's our decimal point to move twice, and that gets us to 360 centimetres. What about C? We've got 0.53 litres. Now to get from litres to millilitres, we're timesing by 1,000. So we go times this by a thousand. And that's going to move the decimal point three places because that has three zeros. So one, two, and then we've run out of digits. So we're going to have to put a zero on the end and then three. So the decimal points just after the zero, we have 530 millilitres. And by the way, that feels kind of right because if you think about it, 0 0.5 is half, isn't it? So this is roughly half a litre. Now, if it is a thousand millilitres, then half a litre would be half of that, which is 500 millilitres. So 530 millilitres feels right in terms of scale. And then finally, D, 2.54 centimetres. To get from centimetres to millimetres, which is what we want, we have to times by 10. So if we times this by 10, that moves the decimal place once and we get 25.4 millimetres.